my crabs naked. What do I do? Hey guys, welcome back to Crab Central Station. In this video, we are going to teach you about everything you need and exactly what to do if you find your hermit crab outside of a shell, which is what we call a naked crab. Let's get started. All right, you guys, so if your crab is found outside of a shell, this is called an emergency. And the reason it's an emergency is because your crab needs his shell to remain safe. The abdomen is very soft. It does not have a protective um, outside like his exoskeleton. And so that's why our hermit crabs stay in a shell. If your hermit crab has left a shell, there's something going on. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Right now, let's go over the supplies that you're gonna need in the case that you have this emergency. And I would highly suggest that you go ahead and keep these supplies. Be prepared, folks! Under your tank or in a cabinet next to your tank, somewhere in the room where you have your tank. That way, if this emergency happens, you're not frantically trying to remember and find all of those things that you need. What do I, what do I do? You can have it already ready to go. The quicker you can get your hermit crab back in his shell, the safer it's going to be for him. His abdomen being exposed is drying out over time. His gills are not staying moist. Um, he has the chance of being injured by another crab or even something in the tank like a wood structure or even like a bark or something like that could scratch his abdomen. So we really need to take care of this immediately. All right, so here we go, supplies. First thing that you need to think about is the size of your crab. If you have a small crab, the size or smaller, then you're gonna want to use what we call the mug method. And the reason we call it the mug method is because you're gonna use a mug, regular old coffee mug or tea mug, okay? Hopefully one that you cannot see through. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. If your crab is a little bit bigger, okay, then you're gonna want to use a container that is bigger and something like this would work. And I know that this one is see-through. Again, we'll go over that here in just a minute. The other thing that you're going to need is some um, prime. And the reason for this is because we need to put a little bit of water in the container and you always want to dechlorinate your water with prime. Um, you are going to want to have some type of towel. Sorry, here we go. You're gonna to wanna to have some type of towel or washcloth um, for this process. You're going to need some type of plastic spoon. Again, the abdomen is very soft and right now it's exposed. And so we want something that is not going to hurt the crab. And then finally, you're going to need two additional shells in the one that your naked crab was in. Okay, hopefully it's right there next to him in the tank or somewhere that you can easily find it. And you would grab two that are the same size and preferably the same kind of shell that your hermit crab likes to be in, right? So if he likes to be in the round or O opening shells, then you would wanna grab two additional shells like the one he likes, all right? Um, and, the, and the correct size as well. All right, so those are your supplies. And like I said, we just have ours ready to go under our tank. Inside this container, I have the plastic spoon and I have the washcloth right here. We would just grab the shells out of the tank because we already have extra shells in there for all of our crabs that are the correct size and what they like. And um, we always keep prime right next to our tank because you know we're always priming our water um, as well, okay? And so we would be all set to go in case of an emergency. All right, so now that we know we have an emergency and we have the supplies available and ready to go, let's talk about what to actually do when this happens, when you find your crab outside the shell. Who's ready? I'm ready. Who's ready? I'm ready. So you're going to grab your container. This is the one that we keep under our tank all the time in case of this emergency. So I'm just gonna use this one for demonstration. Now I don't actually have a naked crab to show you guys, but I'm gonna go through each of the steps that I would take if we actually did have a naked crab, okay? So I grab my container and the first thing that I'm gonna do is find my crab's original shell. Usually it'll be pretty close by where he's at or it'll be readily available somewhere in your tank. 
So I'm gonna find his original shell, which of course is empty. Now I need to clean this out because there might be something inside the shell that's bothering his abdomen. Yeah, I'm like, what the what? Um, and we just want to make sure that that is not a cause for injury or any reason why he wouldn't reach out. So I already have prime treated fresh water in my tank. So that's what I'm going to use to clean out the shell. I'm going to the fresh water pool. I'm going to just use this prime treated water right here, clean out the shell nice and good. Okay. So now there's nothing here in my shell. Now I'm going to use this kind of like a scoop and I am going to fill it up with my prime treated fresh water and add it to my container. I just needed two shells full because my shell's medium size. If I had a smaller one, I'd probably have to do three or four, okay? So you are looking for just a little bit of water that goes on the bottom of the container that you have. We're not giving this crab a bath or taking it for a swim, right? This is just enough to cover the bottom of your container, whatever size that container happens to be. Okay, the point of this water in here is to help your crab be able to wash off his abdomen because he's not in his shell. It's, it's going to have sand, eco earth, debris, and things like whatever's on the floor of your, your tank. It's going to be on his abdomen. Okay, so we want to give him a chance to be able to wash that off so that he doesn't further injure himself. All right, so then I'm going to add his original shell to the container and two others that are the same type of shell and the correct size that I know this crab likes. And those are already going to be in my shell shop because I know that I need to have three to five of those available to him all the time. Now, if you're confused about round openings or D openings or the type of shells or how to measure them, check out our video all about shells that can help you get um, set on shelves. Okay. So I'm going to my shell shop right here in my tank. I'm going to grab two additional shells. Like I said, the ones that I know my crabby likes. Now the next thing I need to do is find my naked crab and put him in this container. Knowing that his abdomen is exposed, knowing that it is fragile, I am going to use a plastic spoon so that I don't cause any injury. And I'm going to very carefully scoop up the crab and place him in this container right by his shell. Okay. So I would go right here, pretend I had a naked crab here. I would carefully scoop him up and I would place them right here on my container next to his shells. Okay. Then I would replace the lid. Okay. I put a couple holes in this lid so you can get heat and humidity in there. It's nice and secure. He can't get out. Other crabs can't get in. Then I am going to take the towel that I always have handy in this little bucket ready to go. And I'm going to cover up my container like this. Okay. And then I'm going to place this whole thing back in the main tank so that he has the heat and the humidity that he needs. Now, of course, this is kind of big and I don't have space in here. So I'm gonna have to remove something, right? So I'm just going to take out their saucer that opens a nice spot right here in the middle. So I would place my naked crab right here in the tank. Close the door. Now I'm going to leave him there without peeking and without messing with him for a whole hour. Okay. It's very important that you let him be. He's in distress. The reason we cover the container is so that he can't see out. Other crabs can't see in. It gives him the privacy to relax and feel safe and completely concentrate on just reshelling. Okay. Notice I didn't put any food in there, no dishes with drinking water or salt water. I didn't put, you know, millet or worm, worm casting, nothing. I did not put a toy in there. I didn't put a little plant in there, right? It is literally my naked crab, three shells and a little bit of prime treated water. The idea of this, you guys, is for him to concentrate on nothing else except reshelling. And that's why you want your container to be just big enough to hold your three shells and your naked crab. All right. So if your crab was smaller, we talked about this earlier, you're going to use a mug because three of these little tiny shells and your crab fits in here with no other extra room. And that's all you need for a small crab. You don't want him to think about getting to a, a corner and ignoring those shells. You want him to basically be sitting on a shell so that you can think of nothing other than, Oh, I need to put on a shell. Okay. So while we're talking about this small mug right here, 
I'm gonna take this out because it's making a lot of noise. All right, so my three shells would be in here with my naked crab and my prime treated water, the same way that I just did this container, right? I'm just using the mug. Then I would take this little hand towel and place it over the mug, and then I would place this inside my tank. Now something a little bit different with this mug method is that it's not a secure lid. So if you're gonna use this method right here, then you would need to be um, doing this while you're at home, able to keep an eye on your tank so that no other crab could climb up here and cave in your towel, right? So you can keep a good eye on them. Um, remember you're just, it's an hour that you're looking at after him. So if you can be home watching and this method works good for you, depending on your size crab, just be mindful that you have to keep an eye on him to keep him safe, okay? Um, otherwise, get a small container with a lid and put the towel over it like we did with this one that's in here, okay? So that is basically what you do for your naked crab, which is what we call the mug method. It's been a whole hour and you've been really good about not peeking in on your crab and giving him some privacy to reshell. And the idea is that he has. So now we need to go ahead and check and see if that has in fact happened. So an hour later, we're going to go into our tank, lift up our towel here at the edge and see if our crab has in fact reshelled. So if he did, wonderful, our method worked and he's all set and ready to go back in his main tank with all of his other friends. Just keep an eye on him, make sure he's acting properly, eating, getting around and that sort of thing. And of course that he's keeping his shell on. Let's talk about if after an hour you come to check and your hermit crab has not reshelled. <laughs> The next thing you need to do is go ahead and take out your container. And at this point, you can transfer him into a larger container, maybe a small critter keeper or that sort of thing. You're still gonna keep the water at the bottom of the container because again, the abdomen is still exposed. And so you don't want to have sand or anything like that that might get stuck on the abdomen and hurt him. And so um, instead you'll have your little bit bigger container. You'll add again a little bit of water on the bottom for him and he'll drink that too if he needs to, right? It's prime treated from his tank. And this time you're going to add a few more shells. So maybe the three he had for whatever reason he just doesn't like. Maybe he's feeling really weak and those shells happen to be heavy even though he would normally wear them, right? I don't know, wish they could talk to us and tell us, but they can't. So. At that point, go ahead and pick a couple other shells, maybe a different opening or different type, and see if that could be the problem, and maybe he'll end up taking that shell. Also, because it's now been a while, and it could be a while longer before he reshells, go ahead and add some of those tank staples. So you can use like a little shell or a very small dish and put some green sand, worm castings. Scrambled eggs are great. They have lots of proteins, and they to really give them some strength. All right, and those are some good choices um, to encourage him to eat and get stronger um, and keep him you know, having nutrients inside of his little isolation tank. So once you get that all set up, you are going to go ahead and keep it in the main tank so that he can have the correct humidity and heat. Because if we don't keep those two things, we're gonna have a whole nother set of problems, right? So um, once you get him all settled in his new um, isolation tub, go ahead and set him back in the main tank. Keep an eye on him. Um, hopefully he will reshell and um, he'll be eating and drinking and, and can return to his tank friends at a later time. Um, if he doesn't reshell, you guys, after several hours, um, there's really nothing else more that you can do than what you already have. Unfortunately, sometimes our hermit crabs can't overcome the damage that they received uh, when they were harvested from the wild and shipped to the store, the beach store, um, and so forth. And that could be what's going on. Um, and so just keep an eye on him and offer him the things that he needs to thrive and hopefully he'll do what he needs to do. So now that your hermit crab is all situated happily back in his main tank with his friends and his shell on, this is a really good time to personally just sit back and evaluate your tank and all of your methods and husbandry to see maybe why your hermit crab left his shell because we know that they have to have a shell to survive and thrive. 
So if your hermit crab left, there's a, there's a reason. They don't just leave their shell just to try it out, take an adventure for funsies, right? They don't do that. So there's gotta be some reason behind them leaving their shell. Go ahead and check out the videos that we have. They talk about substrate, heat, humidity, diet, things that they need to have, their wide variety of nutrients that they need. It could be about tank aggression, you know, space to the amount of crabs that you have. It could be about shells and not having enough shells for the crabs or not the right kind of shells. So go ahead and check out those videos. Also, you guys, we're going to link an article below all about uh, what to do if your crab is naked from the Crab Street Journal. And so check that out for more in-depth, detailed information if you wish. I really hope that this video helps you guys in the case that you have this emergency feel prepared and knowledgeable and ready to help your hermit crab get back in his shell as quickly as possible. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, follow us on our social medias. We update things over there all the time and give videos, lives even, and pictures. So make sure you're following us on those social media sites. And until next time, you guys, take care.